Hi, my name is Scott and I'm going to do a quick demo of Inu. Inu is a 3D live programming and game development environment that I've written using the NIM programming language. It is completely open source under the MIT license and my hope is that it can be will be a compelling learning tool and also something that that people will use to create standalone games as well as just have fun. So it starts with a voxel style world, sort of like Minecraft, so we can draw boxes um, in addition to the normal Minecraft style interface. Um, we can also use a mouse and, and paint, which I find is easier, but I didn't grow up playing Minecraft, so I'm not sure how popular that will be. But um, yeah, so. Uh, but the unique thing about Enu is that everything can be coded using NIM. So if we, let's switch to this robot, and we'll drop a robot, and um, then we'll, we'll write a script for it. So we can make it go forward. Uh, we can make it go forward five or four times. <laughs> instead of doing it like that, we can just say forward four. And let's make it run around in a circle. So to do that, we want it to go forever. So we'll put it in a while loop. While true, forward, and then we'll turn right. And so I'm just gonna, and we'll make it use a walk animation or we could have it use a run animation, or we could have it, um, I don't know, we could have it run and then walk. And, oops. And now it should switch every time. Um, we can add a second, second character. Let's have this one go in a triangle. So that's another while loop. Uh, triangles have three sides, so we'll say three times. Go forward, ten. Turn right, 120 degrees, because that is what triangles are. We'll give it a run. Actually, put that outside of the while loop. Give it a run cycle and set the speed to 10. And we have a bunch of things running around. So let's, uh, we can also code geometry using the same sort of logo and style, logo inspired language. So if we create a block, we can make it go forward. 10. Let's uh, fly up and get a better look at this thing. So, oops, can I, there. So let's go forward. We'll make another box because they're easy. Forward and turn right, and then go forward again. So um, we can use variables for different parameters. So um, let's make this into a tower. Each side will be, we'll start with 10 and the height will be, we'll go with 10 as well. So we want to make this box 10 times. So we'll say height dot times and we'll go through this and we will then go up. And if we want it to go a little faster, we can set the speed to something else. By default, it's 30. So that's 30 blocks dropped per second. So we'll set it to 100 or you can set it to zero and have everything just happen instantly. So let's say you want to make a really tall one or a really short one or a really big one. Oops. Oh, I didn't. Uh, 
include that variable. There we go. And it's a little too big, maybe 25. And we'll make the height 50. Actually, let's just make this small. We'll make it 5, and the height will be 50. All right, and we'll stop with that. So we've got a rather large tower, and we can still edit this. Um, so if we want to delete some of these, let's make a door. And we'll make the door frame green. So delete the, that, and then we'll, oops. Put a door frame in. And, all right, and we have a tower. So the next thing I'm going to make is, um, we'll make another style building uh, that's made out of like a mesh, like a, a grid, a bunch of boxes stacked on top of each other. So as before, let's start with a box. I'm gonna give myself lots of room though. Start with a box, begin with a box. And we'll make this out of boxes. So um, basically we'll go We'll go forward, we'll go up, we'll go back, we'll go down, and then we'll do that a bunch of times. So forward, create some variables, box width, we'll make the width five, box height, uh, we'll do 10, not 50, and then we'll go forward, box, and we'll go up, back and we'll go down and here we go I wasn't lined up the right side so we'll need a bunch of these per side so let's say we'll have five per side uh, which means we'll go boxes per side dot times and maybe after every box we'll change to the next color all right it's not quite what i wanted because we now we need to go forward box with still all right, now this is starting to look like something. Um, let's give us an extra little bit of room. Let's go between each one. I think I have an off by one error here <laughs> because the first one is not getting set to the right color, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it right now. And then we need four sides. So four times, and then we'll turn right, and let's set the speed to zero just so we can have it happen right away. And after our four times, we want, let's say, 20 levels. After each level, we need to go up by box height, and or we can go up by box height plus five to give ourselves something a little different looking. Um, we can make the box width wider. Oh, that was the box height. Let's. Um, This is going to be big. So yeah, um, and we can still edit this. And um, and so the idea is going to be that um, that you can code up some interesting, you know, interesting experiments and then share them with your friends and then they can use them to create levels. Uh, so you could have a building generator and then somebody could have a, uh, a bot 
AI that is able to navigate the building and you could have a whole bunch of different building generators that get spawned in different places in the level and uh, everything is using a very procedural logo style API that's relatively easy to understand and you don't have to worry about async or callbacks or anything and everything is completely uh, spatial so spatial um, so uh, you don't need to worry about files or anything we can just we can just click on uh, click on something and and see what its code is so oh, I guess I'm too fast and and yeah so that's Inu um, it's pretty early days there will be a lot more development in the next little while I am planning to cut a early release that will include the functionality that's here plus a little bit more there's one more thing that I'm working on that I'd like to get included in the release and then I'll probably do another video that should be out by the end of September uh, Windows and Mac binaries initially uh, there will be iOS and Android versions at some point as well so thank you very much